Welcome to my tutorial on how to import data into Stata so you can get into a workable format and begin some data analysis. Uh, the first thing you might want to do is go to my website where I have some links that I'll show you. It's wdonor.googlepages.com slash links if you have the old URL or the new one that Google's starting to put out is sites.google.com slash site slash wdonor slash links. When you get to this page, you scroll down to the section that says economics, the subsection that says data sources, and you'll see a number of different links I've put together for different websites I've collected from other people's sites or from whatever I use a whole lot down here. You'll actually find programs that I use typically to import stuff or grab it off of websites, uh, crawl and do whatever else. Uh, if you're here on the economic side of Bellamy, you can get to some other data on a server that we've actually just put up its backslash backslash which is the button right above the enter key cost coss hyphen dmc server one slash public I'm already logged in so it pulls it up automatically if uh, you're not logged in it'll pull it up with a little login box and you type in FSU in caps and that backslash and then your blackboard ID and password this is what it'll pull up if you're not on the FSU side of um, Bellamy then you can get to it if you're still within the building uh, by our IP address 128.186.152.254 and then slash public again and it'll pull up as you see the exact same thing so two different ways to get to our data we have a lot of census data um, mainly microeconomic some housing stuff uh, those are kinds of projects we work on and they're in ready form to go ahead and start running we have some GIS stuff as well for county uh, maps and things like that so it's very helpful I think uh, something else you might want to start to look at to get an idea of where you can get controls or different variables. The BEBR from UF puts out a publication every year called the Annual Abstracts or the Florida Statistical Abstracts. You can find copies over in Strozier or you can buy them from here. We have some copies. We also have books if you want to go ahead and look at some of that stuff. So feel free and stop on by if you want to use that kind of data. I'm going to go ahead and close out those two links so it doesn't take up a lot of memory. The first thing you want to start doing is within Stata you want to always update everything you have. So do update all and it'll go through and it'll update all of your stuff. If you need to swap out the file you just do update swap. I don't need to do that so I'm not going to hit enter. And then I'm also going to set my current working directory which is my documents to my desktop. So the first thing that you can kind of figure out is that if you want to run programs within Stata you can type in uh, win executable or exe C and then you do space and then quotes you do whatever program you want to launch and then for here I could actually type in the website address the old one of my website and it would open that up in Internet Explorer since I just showed you that I'm not going to worry about it. The first thing to start loading in data is that you can use the use command you always want to do comma clear or clear before it and do use in one line or two lines sorry and you can pull in stuff from websites if they already have it in DTA or Stata form. You can also use web view set and you can set a URL. So if I wanted to do that folder that was right up here and set that whole thing so I can start pulling any sort of data sets that are in that folder, then once you do that, all you have to do is just web use and whatever name of the data set you want to use. Uh, since I know that that life expectancy is already actually packaged with Stata, I can use sysus as well. If you want to see the other ones, just do sysus dir, and those are all the things that are also stored within this web use folder as well. So there's three different commands that you can use within Stata. Uh, they're in sheet, in fix, and in file. So let's go ahead and start with in sheet. And if you go to help in sheet, you'll notice I'm using Stata 11 because as I scroll down on this, I can actually click the first thing, which is a bolded command right there, and it'll pull up the manuals, which used to cost about $300, and we're in huge. We come in four or five volumes. Now you have them all in PDF form. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and download a data set and figure out what we're doing. If you go to Google, type Florida space LCIR. This is the Florida Legislative Committee on Intergovernmental Relations. If you go to the website, data, data A to Z, they have a lot of different things and expenditures and taxes and stuff like that. I was just using their county and municipal revenues data set, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to deal with that. Close it and then close that website, minimize it. You see that I have an Excel spreadsheet that pulled up. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete the stuff I don't need, so I'll delete the first two columns, the table title and some other stuff I don't need. Delete the footer go back over I don't really have a whole lot of time to do everything so I'm just going to delete all the columns over here because I don't really need that data normally you wouldn't want to do that Stata also won't import years or numerical names as variable names so go through and just type in a Y in front of all the years right there and then we're just going to go ahead and save this as a CSV 
open office will give us the option automatically as a comma separated you can do tab it doesn't really matter state will automatically recognize it only save the first sheet counties you can go back and save the municipalities if you want to but here it is right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it in and since we're starting the first week of this class I'm gonna just do week 01 just rename it like that you can try and pull it in just use an in sheet space using and then the name of the file make sure that you do a comma clear so it actually clears out the data set but you'll see that it doesn't pull in the variable names right there so if you browse they're actually in the first row the way to do that is that you just add the option of names make sure that clear is after any of the options that you put in here because if it's not it won't work it'll give you an error so I just redo that and I've got my data set now you have to go back through and you have to clean up stuff like this text right here you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that and go through and either substitute in replace for these hyphens to be periods or do whatever you want to treat as mi uh, missing values and then you're gonna to wanna to destring all these variables so you get them in numerical format but you've got it in so all you have to do is clean it up now so the next command that we can do is help and fix and we pull it up we can go down we can read all the different things about it this uses a lot of uh, fixed formatting so when you pull up our next website we will go to let's go to the journal of applied econometrics and we'll scroll down to well, I've already actually got the link it's in volume 15 number one year 2000 and this zip file right here go ahead and download that and what you're going to notice is that Applied Econometrics has a lot of data sets that you can pull out and start using and they've already been published so it's great because they've already been worked out I'm just going to place this right here on the desktop so they're already prepared for you I'll just delete this other stuff I'm not working with here's the data set again I'm just gonna name it week 01 I like to do this to get into a format when I go ahead and paste it actually in different data set folders that I have them all sort of organized in a nice way so what I would do is I would type infix and you'll notice that there's a string variable named date and it's in columns 1 through 7 then there's another one P-U-N-E-W, which is in columns 10 to 15. The way that I know this is I've actually already used this file, so I can work, uh, open it up in WordPad, and I would just open it up and say, okay, I'm starting at the beginning, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so it's 8 columns long, so it goes through from 1 to 8 right there, because it stops right before that, so we just want to read it into uh, 1 through 7, and then you could do two spaces, now three spaces so it would start with 10 and then you would go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You want to make sure you do 15 because if you don't this hundreds digit will not get picked up so you'll have a lot of variables that won't have the last digit in there and you would just go through and that's how you figure out all the variables and which columns are in. You type that and it puts in variable names and it pulls them in just like you were seeing right there so now we have a time series. Say you didn't want the months right here you wanted to split them up then you would have just read in the first four columns as the year and the next two as the uh, month and you want to make sure you skip it so you don't read in that colon and it would bring it up like this so now you have the month so that's another data set you can have the last file format is in file so you can go through there's two different ways of doing it you can do it with and without a dictionary file dictionary files are really nice they uh, they can allow you to read in huge data sets and they can be somewhat problematic though if you don't know how to write them at first luckily we're going to go to the ICPSR website and search for Lemus because the Lemus data is already actually formatted for us. Lemus is just law enforcement. It's a survey that's done every couple of years um, nationwide. They survey primarily large um, download that large uh, agencies but they do pick up some smaller ones as well and when we download it you're actually going to have to log in so go ahead and make an account log in I have already downloaded some of this stuff and let me just pull it out real quick um, from the class folder and then we'll already have it actually I don't have it in there I'll pause the video so I paused the video real quick. I could download this. I had to log in, and once I clicked on I agree, it downloaded the zip file, and unzipped it right here, and then within there, there's a folder. The very last one that I'm gonna go ahead and name Lemus. I just extracted it out, and if you use in file, I'll go ahead and clear it. They actually already have a dictionary file, so you wanna do set more off, 
and run their dictionary file it'll read in everything written right here so if you go into here you can look into their text file which is going to have all the data you can look into the code book and you can look into the dictionary file that they go ahead and start so if you look in the dictionary file you can actually open it up and start to edit you can go through and you can change the different ways that it reads in the data you can go into the do file also that they have here and you can begin to change the names of the files and all that kind of stuff but it's nice because it reads it in automatically when you open up Stata and you've got that file so there's a bunch of different things that you can do with Stata go ahead and play around with importing and stuff like that and good luck